Hello people, welcome to my channel. Here I teach about how you can enhance your digital skill to improve yourself or start a new digital business. If you are interested in learning new digital skills and how to make money with it in 2021, then you are the right place. But you will do me a favor and indeed yourself this big favor by clicking the subscribe button below and smash the like button so that you can be the first to get notified once I release a new next video. I am starting a new series on how to make money by learning WordPress web design. I will not only teach you everything you need to know, but I will teach you how you can start your own business and earn good money being a web designer. Even if you're a computer beginner and a complete beginner, you have never learned WordPress before, you don't know anything much about how to, to, to design website or much about the computer, this is actually meant for you because it will be well broken down and you can always reach out to me if you have any question as we journey along to become professional web designers. You can drop your comment and questions right under this video and I promise to read through all of them and answer you the best possible way I can. So are you ready? Let's jump right in and let's get started. All right, so let's begin like this. Um, the question is, um, um, why web design? Now, I can assure you that this is the best time ever that web design is becoming something that um, you have to consider learning because things have changed. And right now, every business wants to go online in one form or another. We are all familiar with the effect of the COVID-19 and how it's really crippled businesses and brands that do not have a strong online presence. And I can assure you that in the last six months, the amount of people that have been requesting for the services of web designers have tripled. So it's an opportunity for you to learn how to design website and catching. I can assure you that as a Nigerian, personally as a web designer, depending on the kind of um, functionalities that my clients have always asked for, you can begin to charge from as much as from 50,000 Naira up to 200 to 50,000 Naira per client to do a website for them. And to learn this thing, it's not difficult at all. All you just need is just for you to to dedicate a little bit of your time per day and to you know and to give yourself a target that okay in the next one month in the next two months in the next three months i want to have finished this course and i can assure you that if you are serious about it before you know what's happening you have a serious career on your hand and you can indeed start your own business right from home making as much as um, an average of between fifty to one fifty thousand naira for every, uh, you know, um, client that you work with. Okay, so now let's begin like this. Now, um, what is web design? Of course, I'm very sure that for you to even be assessing this video, it shows that you already have one or two knowledge about what a website is. Okay, so the web design is the process of designing and developing a website okay that is what web design is and before now it has been very difficult for people to design website because um, if you don't know how to code if you don't know how to write programming language in HTML in CSS JavaScript PHP you know you cannot design or develop your website but things have changed now and that is why WordPress looked at the need of the market and they came up with you know, a, a very easy way for anyone to be able to design and manage his or her own website. And that is where you are coming in. So um, there are different platforms and different ways by which you can create a website. Okay, like I said earlier on, you can decide to do add core coding if you if you are into programming you can actually code a website but these days i really wonder why you want to take the stress of learning how to code um from the beginning when you can actually have you know a, a, an easier means 
by which you can just learn how to drag and drop some things and then i mean you do as much beautiful job as a coder will do at a much faster time and i want to assure you that these days even companies and brands are beginning to embrace you know uh, wordpress design because of its numerous advantages over those websites that were coded right from the beginning and i can assure you that big brands like sony music like uh like queen b like star wars they all use wordpress you know to, to design their website um several several in fact these days almost every website you're going to see online are designed with wordpress so you are actually in a good hand so what is wordpress now wordpress is an online open tool and content management system that allows you to create any kind of website what do i mean by being online it shows that of course you have to be online to be able to access it and it's free okay it's free for anyone to join and then what do we mean by open source by open source it means that it's open for people to bring in their contributions every time you know for developers to come in and add functionalities to the website and um, um, once it's approved okay it, it comes online so wordpress has come to stay um, why do you need to learn wordpress instead of beginning to learn how to code right from the beginning it is because all the job all the coding jobs has been done for you and with wordpress the web design it's it's much much cheaper okay than the than, 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 than trying to code a website so for example while a, a, a coder might be charging as much as 250 300 thousand naira to just um, design a website for somebody you that you are using WordPress you can decide to charge as low as 150 as low as a hundred thousand naira and because you're going to be doing exactly in fact if not better job than what a coder will do who will decide to go and pay 300 400 thousand naira to a coder where you can design something that is exactly as good as what a coder will do even better for hundred one fifty thousand okay so that is why um wordpress is the ideal skill that you should learn it is user friendly now these days nobody wants to code website from the beginning again because if i have a client and i coded a website for him or her using programming language it's one of the things it means is that that person cannot even do anything at all on that website if he doesn't see me because everything is on is on code you cannot even teach the person to just do basic things on this website the designer has to be the, the web developer has to be there so people don't want to go for such options where you design a website and you cannot just do anything at all on the website online when you use a wordpress where you can tell your clients and your customers okay you can do this you can do this and easily they can come along so wordpress is very user friendly and it has thousands of plugins to in, to improve and to add to its functionalities. Don't worry, I will not talk much about uh, what plugin are now until we really get into the nitty gritty of the training. Okay, but plugins are just like software that you upload on your on your on your Android phone um, uh, to to improve the functionalities and to add values to. To, to, to your Android okay so that is what plugins are in website it is very flexible and extend and extensive you know you have control over the website because you are not coding you know you can and and this support is fantastic you can always have support system every time you run into any each okay so these are the reasons and many other reasons why you need to learn how to use WordPress instead of going to learn how to code right from the beginning all right so now before we continue now before we start learning how to actually lay your hand on your um on your wordpress to start designing let's just briefly briefly discuss few things you need to know before you start designing a website now web design is a it's a serious job okay it's a serious job. it's not something you can just dash in on and just design what what you feel like designing and, and, and go your way no you have to put certain things in place before you can start designing your website so um before you can say okay i want to design a website you must be able to plan your website 
okay you must be able to plan your website why do you need to plan your website because number one uh, you want people that come to that website to have a wonderful user experience okay you, 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 you want to make sure that you know all the tools and all the materials that you will need okay before you start that website for example if you don't plan your website before starting you will discover that you will run into a lot a lot of problems because um you you are just like a builder who does not have all his tools ready all his materials ready or, or you want to cook um you you don't you, you've not even bought you know your condiments you've not bought your meat you've not and it's when you're in the kitchen that you're not trying to look for this and look for this you know that that thing will not come out well so when you plan you already know the problems you're going to encounter you know all the materials you're going to need beforehand before you begin that website so planning is so essential if you want to um, start designing your website and there are four major components of planning okay if you want to start designing your website the first one is that you must prepare you must prepare what do i mean by that you must be able to ask yourself basic questions like okay this website that i'm designing who is it meant for okay is it a portfolio website as in that's a personal website is it a, is it a website that i'm designing for a mid-sized brand or company or is it a website that i'm designing for a large brand okay so uh, for whom you are designing your website is going to determine the kind of tools that you will need before you start so you must be able to 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 uh, get set and answer that question before you begin and then after pre preparation the next component of plan is is the landscape okay is the landscape and what does that mean it means adding features to, to your website to improve user experience. For example, if you're building a school website, for example, you don't just want to build a website that is full of text and people come to the website, there is nothing to really interest them. You know, the truth of the matter is when you're building a website, you want to make sure that you build a website that users can come and stay there for a long time. That is always the goal of websites. So your website has to be interesting enough for people to be able to come in. Okay, so you could want to hard as ask yourself, okay, before I begin this website, what kind of features will I need to feature on this website? Do I want to add chats, bots? Do I want to add photo or video gallery? Do I want to add blogs? Do I want to add maps and directions? Okay, do I want to add contact information? Do I want to have uh, add social media you know and do i want to ask frequently ask questions and the and the list is endless okay so you must be able to answer that question before you begin okay after landscape the the third aspect of planning your website is what i call the aesthetics okay now your website can be functional it can be good it can be serving its purpose but you will agree with me that when the website is beautiful People love it. People want to come. If you log onto a website and you see everything jam-packed, even though you are, the information you are looking for is there, but it's not beautiful. People will not be. It will not be appealing, okay? And users will not stay there. They will just come in and bounce off the website. So you want to make sure that your website looks very good, okay? Looks very good. In the process of designing the website, I'll be talking more about things you can do to give your website a nice aesthetics. Um, features okay and then the number four aspect of planning your website is what I call the navigation okay so you want to make sure that um, just imagine that you you are in a new city okay because the website is like a new city you, you are in a new city and you you ask somebody that you're going to a particular place that they should give you direction and then the person say go left and when you go left you go right after you go right you go left again and you try to follow the direction of this person who directed you and at the end of the day you came back and found yourself where you started the journey from you know that it's not going to be a very interesting experience right that is exactly how it is with the website so when you enter into a website as a visitor you want to make sure that from the home page you know how to navigate yourself to any area that you want to go to in the website if the navigation is poor people get confused and at the end of the day they leave your website and you should understand these days that people have a very short attention span so once they come to the website and they see that things they don't understand what is going on in this place uh they click this they cannot they they, they are looking for so and so they cannot see and everything is not just well arranged they leave the website okay so you must take 
this also into consideration so like i said before you begin your website you have to plan your website and planning include preparation in, in it includes landscaping it includes aesthetics and then the navigation once you have been able to put all these things down in fact you have to put them down on paper and work it out before you go ahead to begin the process of the design once you have been able to settle this beforehand you will discover that the the the, the process of web design become a very enjoyable process because already you know the destination of the kind of website you want to build even before you begin i hope we got that all right we're going to make this class or we're going to try and make this class as interesting as possible and one of the things i will try to do is that i will make sure that each video is not too long so that you can have a compact you know um uh, compact work for let's say a week you know if i record videos that are too long you might get overwhelmed so i want it to be like a class where uh, we'll not have to do a lot of you know exercise per class okay so if you're f depending on how quick or how fast you are to grab the concept you can always go to the next video and go to the next video and move at your own speed but i will make sure that each video is not too long so that you can have you know um uh, you can it can be easy for you to follow along and then will not be overwhelmed so i'm um, going to be giving you the first assignment for this class and um, as you can see on your screen now you're going to do this assignment for yourself you know you are your teacher right now you mark it yourself and make sure that you don't go to the next um tutorial if you have not finished this tutorial and done your assignment for yourself so the first thing you're going to do for me is i'm going to buy a new exercise book okay and it's going to be for just web design nothing else just web design a new exercise book then number two you're going to write the yeah you're going to um, okay you're going to assume you're going to write down in the exercise book what we have on that screen okay so you're going to write number one you buy a new exercise book number two now you're going to assume that we are building a mid-size website so um in, in this in, in this tutorial we're going to be building a website and it's going to be a mid-size website and all of us are going to be building it together okay so get that in mind and then number three you're going to write the word plan as you see it on the screen okay you're going to write your p your l your a and your n and then in front of p you're going to write plan which is that means we are you remember what we said earlier on it's going to be a mid-sized website okay our l stands for landscape and landscape is that we're going to be talking about the things that we need to add on our website we're going to write it down in your notebook and then number three the aesthetics okay we're going to be asking ourselves we're going to be adding stuff that would make our site looks beautiful for anybody that visits and then number four um the navigation okay and what does that mean Okay, how easy it is for people who visit our, our website to move from one point on the website to another point. Okay, so these are the things we're going to be putting into consideration as we go on the journey of building our website. I believe that this is going to be an interesting time. And if you can be truthful to yourself or you can be true to yourself in the next one, two months, you're going to discover that already, wow, you're already a web designer. And then we're going to begin to talk about how to market yourself and to make money both um, locally and internationally as a professional web designer. So do the assignment. Um, make sure you do it and mark yourself. And once you are done with this, you jump over to the next uh, to the next lesson and I'm going to be releasing about one or two lessons per week. Okay, so you're going to be working on a short project but i don't want to to, to overwhelm with too many you know tutorials so that you can come along with me and then um in about a month in about two months uh you can be done and uh, start your business and launch your company even as a web designer so thank you very much for watching this video um once again please please don't forget to to subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed it's going to help me a lot to to create more videos you're going to smash the like button and then you can comment below if you have any question or there is anything i did not have or any point you want to make on the website thank you very much for checking me out see you in the next course have a nice day bye, -bye.